I, I am recording on my cell phone for the YouTube because I couldn't do YouTube live because it wasn't set up on my mobile. So I'm live via Instagram. Oh, shoot. I'm, oh, Lord. I'm live via Instagram and I'm live via Facebook on my Facebook group page. What's going on here? What's up here? Okay, hold on. Hold on, Facebook. Man, I had up here earlier. Okay. And, um, okay, we're kind of leaning, but hopefully y'all can see me. Hold on. Ugh. I had, it, I had it in here earlier, y'all. I'm sorry. I had it in here earlier. Okay. It's the best I can do for right now. So I'm in my car. I'm on my lunch break. I took my shirt because I am, you know, the label of my job where I'm at. So this is going to be, we're going to be talking about misconceptions of Christians. Uh, part two, I have like 20 minutes. I have to get back into work. And so, so we're going to pray in real quick and, and get it started. Father God, I thank you for working me up this morning. I thank you for my job. I thank you for blessing me. I thank you for guiding me with the Holy Spirit down the right path and what to do. I thank you for my my um, new townhouse. I thank you for my car and my transportation to get me to and work safely. You also make sure I'm able to commute to and from work safely and I don't get any, any accidents. And you guide my hands and feet when I drive. Just thank you, Father God. And Father God, I ask that you speak through me and you think through my mind and help me to articulate clearly for people to receive this word and this message. Father God, I thank you. Um, for everything you've done for me, the many blessings you have for me, and for your grace and your mercy, because you didn't have to do it. Jesus, in your name I pray. Amen. All right, so I originally, it was supposed to be a part two. And the first one on Instagram, for some reason on Instagram, it's like glitches. It's like it's glitching the whole time while I was running through, so I might have to remove it and repost the Instagram, because um, it shouldn't be doing that. And I don't know why it's doing that. And this is why I was calling last. I don't know why it's doing that. Um... I have to figure out what's going on. Hopefully, it doesn't do with this video. So, and the reason why I'm doing the part two because some stuff had came to my mind um, about um, some things that came had came to my mind about. Um, I'm about to hold this camera because I don't like how it's looking. This phone, okay. So, some things had came to my mind a little bit after that about because there, there are other misconceptions, misconceptions of Christians like you know, what I'm saying we're not allowed to drink wine or we have to dress a certain way or we have to respond a certain way in situations like we're not allowed to get upset or or you can't get angry. You're a Christian or or you're supposed or like we're supposed to get a person right there and they're not allowed to be angry and have have a moment and process process it. You know, for a while we have to forgive right there. That's not actually true uh as christians if somebody if somebody does something to you we have the right to be upset yes eventually in due time we will forgive because that because that's a, because because we're a christian we love the lord eventually when we are tired of carrying it we will sit there and forgive you you know for what you have done but don't just assume that's supposed to be something we're supposed to do right there and then there and we can't be angry we're not allowed to have emotion or express ourselves we're supposed to sit there i'm one of those as long as you respect me i'm good but if you disrespect me i might have to put jesus to the side and whoop your ass you know what i'm saying there's nothing that says because I'm a Christian or oh, I can't fight, I can't get upset, I can't hit nobody. No, you disrespect me and violate me with me to whoop your ass, I'm going to put Jesus aside for a few minutes and I'm going to whoop your ass. Um, and so, um, and so, um, yeah, that, that's just how um, I feel. And um, that's just how I feel, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to... Uh, that and another thing is like when it comes to alcohol because I was dating a guy and we were and we had glasses of wine. I took a picture. I'm talking person. If I'm five, I take a picture and I was holding the, 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 wine, the wine glass. Me and him. And I took the picture. And it was just a wine glass. He was like, "Oh, don't post it up on there. We're supposed to be Christians. We're supposed to be some a guy. We're not. We're not. We're not supposed to do. You know, we're, people don't need to see that we did that because we really ain't supposed to be doing." It. I'm thinking, where is it saying that when you because you're a Christian or you can't drink, have a drink? You know, where, where is the, 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 there's a lot of people that think, there's, there are things that Christians do that they, they claim they're Christians, but they do. Because the Bible says you're supposed to wait until you're married before you have sex. But a lot of people who are Christians in the Lord, they have sex before they're married. You know what I'm saying? But I'm supposed to say not have a drink. And there's nothing in the Bible that says you're not supposed to have a drink as a Christian, you know. So I was like, it's okay for us to have a drink. But it wasn't, he was just so worried about image and all that. Because if somebody's going to respond and say that, then they're not really a Christian. Because any real Christian would know, it's okay for you to have a drink every once in a while. Every now and again. And, um, so, um, yeah. And so I just felt like, you know, that kind of bothered me. And then, like, you know, oh, she dressed dress a certain way. I wear this shirt up underneath my clothes, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for when I'm working. But I also sit there. If I'm at home, sometimes when I go out and about, especially sometimes when it's hot, I'll just wear this shirt. So, yeah, you might see my bra, you might see a little cleavage, but it doesn't mean I'm not a Christian. It doesn't, matter, doesn't mean I don't respect myself or I'm, or I'm some loose girl. You know, I just feel like there are a lot of misconceptions of Christians that, I feel I feel there's too much put on us to behave a certain way, 
and the minute we don't, we get we get all this flack. There's nothing that says we're supposed to be a certain way or we're supposed to act a certain way. There's nothing that's, that that says that. I think they're just. I think, I think, I think in a secular world, living this world, worldly people put things on you, who and they they really don't understand what it means to be a Christian. And a lot of times, people think that because that because of what they do, or because I mean, because my dad's a pastor on PK kid and now, but that doesn't mean you. There's a lot of people that sit there and call themselves Christians, but when they step outside that door, they act a completely different or a completely different way. You know what I'm saying? That's not what it means to be a Christian. It's your character and how you carry yourself, and how you treat people, and how you respond in situation. Because, like I said in the last post, when you are um, when you are a um, you can't spell Christian while spelling Christ. Christ is in Christian. The first six letters when you spell Christian, it spells Christ. So Christ is in Christian. So when you saying you're a Christian, you're saying Christ is in you. And when Christ is in you, you move at how God does. And a lot of times when when there's a lot of stuff going on, you you will tend to forget how how, how, how you. You will tend to forget to, um, to you you will, you will tend to forget how to respond or forget that or to forget to respond the way you know you should respond as a Christian. It happens, you know what I'm saying. But I've seen a lot of people that go to church and claim they're a Christian, but they the whole time of behavior is a different ball game. The things that the things that they do, the lies, the manipulation, and how they sit there, and just the things you do that says like you know it makes you question whether or not that person. Um, is a Christian. Are you sure you're a Christian? Are you sure you, you, you believe that and think that? And, you know, um, it's just, um, it's, it's really something. But I was going to do a part two, but stuff just came to mind. Because, and just like somebody, just like, you know, if someone's gay, I don't judge that person with like that because, like, um, I listened to Lana B. And he, and he, I was watching some, a video a couple years ago. I came across on YouTube, and a pastor had wrote into him and said, I love what you do. She said, I don't, I don't, um, look at the messenger. I listen to the message. Basically, she was saying, I'm, I don't sit there and focus on who's talking, who that's giving the message. I focus, I listen to the message. Basically, say, I'm not judging you. It doesn't bother me that you're, that you're gay or whatever, and it shouldn't. Because that, that's how it should always be. When someone's speaking and talking, giving you a message, you should always be listening to the message. Now, who's giving the message? And that's what makes it so hard for people to receive stuff. Because they're so focused on listening to who it's coming from. You know? Because nobody's perfect. Everybody, at one point or another, sin. When you say that, cuss that person out when they cut you off. Or when you went off at the waitress. Or when you go through the drive through and somebody gives you an order and your food ain't hot. And you, and you, you come in, your, your, your immediate reaction is to have an attitude. Your temper just flares up, and you got all this attitude and all that's not necessary. That that's a sin, you know. A lot of us sin. We eat pork. Cause we really ain't supposed to eat that, but we eating it. And, that, and you know what I'm saying? That's considered. You know, so so we have to be mindful before we so quickly want to judge people and point that finger, um, and stuff. And so, um, yeah, we need to be need to be mindful of um, the things we say and do. Um, and stuff. So, you know, and because when I do this, I want to, to reach somebody and spread the word. I want to help people and spread the word and let them know. I want them to see that good side of a Christian. Because there are some genuine people out there. There are some genuine Christians out there. And I want them to see that good side of a Christian and how we and how we operate. Not every, not every person is judgmental. You know what I'm saying? But we, just, but we just have to be mindful. And we can't force our lives out on people. And we have to be. You know, and you have to protect yourself. You know, like when you're at jobs, it's not right. You have to move on. Um, you have to um, uh, move on. And so, you know, move on and do what's best for you. But, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that because some things came to mind. And when he said that, when he said it, that's what made me think. Like, yeah, like, you know, you know, you can't. Who says that when you're a Christian, or you, you, who says that because I'm a Christian, I can't associate with somebody that's a lesbian, or somebody that's gay, or, or I can't talk to that person? Like, I have family members that they are, they are part of a particular church, and they won't hang out and associate with anybody unless they are that particular, unless, they, unless they're associated with that church. You know what I'm saying? That have to be Jehovah's Witnesses, or Catholics, or whatever. Because so then they're not going to sit there and hang with them. Or they hang with us because we're family. But basically, because they feel that. Because they don't take responsibility. It's like, it's like, oh, if I hang with you, you can influence me. Yeah, a person can be influenced, but based, but, but, don't, don't take the choice out of you. Because you're still making a choice. That person was around you. They're doing stuff. But was all saying done. You made a choice that okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to partake too. I'm going to partake in it too. Because their behavior made you think and consider, but you still had a choice. You made a choice. You said, okay, I'm going to sit there 
and um okay hold on I'm going to sit there and I'm going to um <laughs> 